I think before there was a reason for her to come back and now there just isn't. There isn't a monetary reason because she's already made a ton of money. There isn't an attention kind of reason because not as many people are interested and she's already kind of done it all. Belle Delphine is back on the internet, but not for long. Let's take a look at the evidence together and I'll show you why I think the internet's most bizarre, headline-grabbing, bathwater-selling e-girl will not be here for long before she disappears into the shadows she came from once again. How am I so confident about what she's going to do next? She's done this all before. Belle Delphine got her start on Instagram in 2018, posting cosplays and weird photos where she mixed modeling with bizarre and sometimes shocking subject matter. The content was unique enough to grow her niche following that quickly went mainstream. She started funneling her fans over to Patreon to capitalize on her success, and by September she was making over $2,000 a month. After that, she hid the earnings statistics, but the number of paying users skyrocketed, reaching over 4,000 people per month, handing over their hard-earned cash to see Belle's photos. These these tens of thousands of dollars a month would turn out to be a drop in the ocean of cash Belle would go on to make on the internet. Or rather, a drop in the bath. Belle did her first merch drop, but instead of a t-shirt or a coffee mug, it was a $30 jar of Gamer Girl bath water. Rise up, Gamer Boys. It's time to get your Gamer Girl bath water. These jars sold out in under 48 hours, and Belle was mailing her actual bathwater all over the world. This grabbed the attention of pretty much every content creator in existence. I bought it and tested it with a water testing kit, other YouTubers actually drank it, and the mainstream news picked up on this never-before-seen level of degeneracy on the internet. 2019 was an absolutely crazy time on the internet, and it was all thanks to one twisted and mysterious e-girl. On the topic of mystery, this was truly Belle's smartest move and biggest appeal. She had remained extremely mysterious, by design. There was hardly any real information known about her at all, and what was known was pieced together by internet sleuthing and sometimes blind speculation. She had a YouTube channel, but she didn't do vlogs or explain anything about her life. Instead, she gave bizarre room tours and bathed with an octopus, garnering millions upon millions of views. On her Instagram, she posted lewd content and bizarre rituals, usually both at the same time. She didn't go on podcasts, she didn't stream, she revealed basically nothing at all about who she really was or why she was doing any of this. She was a force of nature, in a world where every other content creator was streaming their every move and live tweeting every thought that popped in their heads. She was unexplained and unexplainable. In addition to being mysterious, Belle also enjoyed trolling her fans. While she had gained her following posting suggestive content, she'd always gone right up to a line and then stopped. I feel like I'm right on the cusp, right? I've never shown real nudity mm -hmm. and I think to see like someone who's like, you know, kind of played out like, oh, am I going to show you? Oh, maybe not. Oh, today, maybe you're going to get it today. She promised if this post on her Instagram got 1 million likes, she would make an account on P-Hub, presumably to make adult content. When the photo smashed past 1 million likes, Belle delivered. Kind of. She made a handful of videos that technically delivered on what the title promised, but in the cleanest way possible. Belle Delphine strokes two big c**ks. She's playing with chickens. PewDiePie goes all the way inside Belle Delphine. She eats a picture of them. You get the idea. Some people thought this was funny, but others who felt like she owed them started mass reporting her Instagram account. Eventually, they won, and Belle's Instagram account of 4.5 million followers was banned. Even though she had lost her biggest platform, Belle still had Twitter and YouTube to reach the masses. One story that added to her mystique was in October of 2019, where she simply posted a mugshot with the caption, I got arrested. Later in the day, Belle posted more proof for her story, explaining that a girl came to a party at her house and stole Belle's hamster. Belle then went and vandalized the girl's car, leading to Belle's arrest. There was a lot of speculation online about whether this whole story was real or fake, but most people were convinced by the photos Belle had posted. Next, she posted a bizarre video on YouTube called How to Become Belle Delphine, where she makes an abomination of a recipe with raw meat and crafting supplies. Little did people know, after Belle posted this, she would go completely dark and disappear with no explanation. It had all happened so fast. The bathwater, the explosion of her Instagram and Patreon, all that money. 
the Instagram ban, the arrest, had all happened within the space of just a few months. The internet had become addicted to Belle, and then she was just gone. What happened? I started doing some research of my own during this time and discovered some traces of her on the internet even though she wasn't doing anything publicly. I was able to confirm the existence of the long-rumored but never confirmed Belle Delphine boyfriend. I also found public records detailing shell companies Belle had created in the UK. The co-owner of one of these companies was none other than her boyfriend. This information turned out to be a bombshell, and the internet was even thirstier than I could have imagined for it. I put all of this information into a video released in May of 2020 after Belle had been missing for about six months. My channel had less than 4,000 subscribers when I posted this video, and after I posted it, the YouTube algorithm picked it up in a way that I had never seen before or since on my channel. The video ended up getting over 8 million views and netting me almost 60,000 subscribers, which has been widely reported on. But what most people don't realize is that all of this happened over the course of only six days before YouTube hit it with an age restriction and removed it from the algorithm, effectively killing the video. There has very rarely been anyone or anything more curiosity inducing or clickable than the mystery surrounding Belle Delphine during this time. And then, just a few weeks later, something unthinkable happened. She came back. The second coming of Belle was heralded not with Instagram posts or Twitter mugshots, but an insane over-the-top YouTube music video. This video absolutely exploded, gaining over 40 million views before it was age-restricted by YouTube. Belle was back, posting familiar content, but without an Instagram and the decline of Patreon's popularity amongst creators like Belle, she needed a new outlet if she was going to continue making money like she had before. There was a new site quickly gaining popularity that was perfect for the job. On a later podcast, Belle would reveal the extreme extreme wealth she was amassing from OnlyFans. We're all like the main people on OnlyFans are roughly earning the same, I think, from what I know. And at the moment, it's like a mil a month. That, that would put you at the high, that would put you at the very highest uh, echelon. In addition to OnlyFans, Belle's content strategy this time was completely different from the previous phase of her career. She began going on podcasts, from Cold Ones to Impulsive, the official podcast, and more. Belle was like an author with a new book coming out that needed promoting, but it wasn't a book she was promoting. It was an adult film. In the process of doing so, Belle did something that was completely unthinkable during her first time in the spotlight. She told the internet everything. She told Logan Paul something that Bell Sims had been denying the whole time. Who, who's the who's the partner? Who's the guy? It's my boyfriend. How long has that relationship been going on for? The whole time I've been Belle Delphine. How, how, no how, how, way. How, how long is that? Three years. She told Cold Ones that the hamster story was fake and generated for publicity. She explained how calculated and planned out her every move and every post had been again and again on different podcasts. And then she actually released the adult film she had been promoting the whole time. In just eight months, Belle had completely dropped all the mystique around her character and let the internet meet the girl behind the curtain. After delivering everything she had promised for real this time, Belle made one last sponsored tweet and once again went completely dark. After nine months of complete silence from Belle, popular YouTuber Sunny V2 made a video titled Why Belle Delphine's Career Died. Sunny made the point that Belle had sold all of her mystery to make one last big cash out and then fled the internet, and that there really wasn't any reason for her to come back. And soon after, the unthinkable happened. She came back again. After nearly 14 months of being gone from the internet, Belle returned once again with a tweet saying, Damn, time flies when you're rich. The next day, Belle said, In all seriousness, I really am glad to be back and seeing all of your familiar faces again. The internet has always been such a big part of my life, and this past year I feel like I've missed a lot. Guess I've got some catching up to do. It doesn't seem like Belle's star has completely faded out, as the initial tweet has almost 100,000 likes. But Belle's third phase on the internet is not going to last as long as the others if she tries to do all the same content as before. Back in 2020, she told the Cold Ones podcast something extremely important regarding how she thinks about her future. But at the same time, like, this job only lasts for a certain amount of time. And I think when I'm 30, I want to be doing, I really want to be doing something else that's not right. this. 
Bell herself realizes there's a clock on the type of content that made her so much fame and money. And I think it's entirely possible that her dropping all the mystique around her character was not a miscalculation on her part, but an intentional pivot in the way she interacts with the internet. If her last return was characterized by OnlyFans and podcasts, I think this one will be dominated by Twitch and collaboration. Bell's always been keen on capitalizing on the cutting edge of social media, so I would be genuinely surprised if she doesn't appear on stream with creators like Mizkif, who's famous for having a revolving door of entertaining guests and has already reached out to Bell. Bell has also in recent days tweeted that this time around, she feels completely unhinged and that this will end with her in a conservatorship a la Britney Spears. She's already posted more cosplays, pictures of herself eating slime, and then eating a light bulb, showing us that she hasn't completely given up on her weird girl character. I reached out to Sunny V2 and asked if he'd like to comment on Bell's return, and he had this to say. Her recent post about breaking a light bulb in her mouth was clearly a fake stunt made to be discussed, yet no one seemed to care about it. Pretty good evidence showing that she gave away too much info about her strategy in her last return. People are now expecting fake posts, so it will be way harder to pull off any decent, believable publicity stunts. However, recent return is still super fresh. We'll be interesting to see how things are going in a month or two. Wishing her the best of luck, but will for sure be harder for her from here on out. While we may not know exactly why she returned, I'm confident in saying that she has a plan. She's already come up with some big event to tease, promote, and lead up to that will make her another mountain of cash so she can take it and disappear again. Or maybe she'll just become another IRL streamer who reacts to YouTube videos. In which case, hi Bell, click subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, check out my video on how a monkey made this guy the most popular streamer in the world. Thanks for watching. Stay weird, internet. Peace.